y'all peace and blessings god bless y'all i'm jarvis kingston and i hope y'all doing all right in these times that we're in now today i want to discuss about putting your best foot forward and doing your best in life you know it's very important that we always stay determined and that we always put all of our effort into everything that we do i did this message message yesterday but i just wanted to just put more um more details to it because i feel like with everything that we do in life we got to put all our might into it You know, God has blessed us with our temple. He's blessed us with our mind, our heart, our soul. He has blessed us with our hands and our gifts. And we have to actionize them. We have to activate them. We have to go all out in everything that we do. Um, Everything that we touch shall prosper. Everything that we do in our life, put all of our might into it. We should never be lackadaisical. We should never go through the motions. And we should never just, you know, settle or just, you know, or just... You know, take the shortcuts, you know, everything you want to do in life, you want to do it thoroughly and efficiently. You know, everything has to have a purpose behind it and a good meaning as well. And it also has to have good intentions. You know, with all of our hard work and all of our might, we have to have good intentions behind our our ideas. You know, we can't just do things for vanity or for validation or try to prove something to somebody. We should always dedicate and do things for the most high. And those that are near us, that support us and love us, we should also go all out for them as well. And then for your personal life, you know, you got to take care of yourself as well. You know, God wants you to also be about, you know, self-care and looking out for yourself and your well-being as well. So you got to stay on top of everything and, you know, always stay positive and put your, your best foot forward in everything that you do. Because I feel like in today's world, a lot of people are half stepping everything. People aren't really putting their best foot forward. People are not really going all out like they should you see a lot of people more unmotivated more than ever you see a lot of people more lazy more than ever you see a lot of people more inconsistent more than ever and we have to stay diligent we have to stay thorough and consistent all throughout our lives you know um and you know i just want to just discuss this so god wants us doing our best you know like we're full of sin we're still in the flesh and what have you you know but when it comes to our actions doing the will of god or helping people, or doing a service, or providing something, we should give it our all, you know, we should go all out with it, you know, we should never half it, we should always go 100%, so what I want to do is read some scriptures concerning doing your best, and just go from there, the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 23, whatever you do, do your work heartily, as for the Lord rather than for men, the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 7, with good will we're in the service as to the Lord and not to men. The book of Colossians chapter three verse seventeen. Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. The book of Colossians chapter one verse ten, so that you will walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. 
the book of first corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 whether then you eat or drink or whatever you do do all to the glory of god the book of ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 whatever your hand finds to do do it with all your might for there is no activity or planning or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol where you are going. The book of Psalm chapter 143, verse 10. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Be diligent to present yourselves approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed, accurately handling the word of truth. The book of Jeremiah chapter 26, verse 14. But as for me, behold, I am in your hands. Do with me as is good and right in your sight. The book of Second Peter chapter 1, verse 5. Now for this very reason also, applying all diligence in your faith, supply moral excellence and in your moral excellence and knowledge. The book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11. And to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life and to attend your own business and work with your hands, just as we commanded you. The book of First Peter chapter 2, verse 15. For such is the will of God, that by doing right you may silence the ignorance of foolish men. The book of Romans chapter 12, verse 18. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. The book of James chapter 4, verse 17. Therefore, to one who knows the right thing to do and does not do it to him, it is a sin. The book of Titus chapter 3, verse 13. Diligently help Zenos, the lawyer, and Apollos on their way so that nothing is lacking for them. The book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 14. Therefore, beloved, since you look for these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, spotless and blameless. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 8. Knowing that whatever good thing each one does, this he will receive back from the Lord, whether slave or free. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 3. Commit your works to the Lord, and your plans will be established. The book of Philippines, chapter 2, verse 13. For it is God who is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 19. For the good that I want, I do not do, but I practice the very evil that I do not want. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before men to be noticed by them. Otherwise, you have no reward with your Father who is in heaven. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 16, verse 14. Let all that you do be done in love. The book of Psalm, chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do your will. Oh, my God, your law is within my heart. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 7. But you be strong and do not lose courage, for there is reward for your work. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 17. For it is better, if God should will, should will it so, that you suffer for doing what is right, rather than for doing what is wrong. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 26. Give me your heart, my son, and let your eyes delight in my ways. The book of 2 John, chapter 1, verse 8. Watch yourselves, that you do not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 11, not lagging behind in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 12, apply your heart to discipline and your ears to words of knowledge. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 26, blessed is that slave whom his master finds so doing when he comes. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, and we know that God causes all things to work together for the good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. The book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 6. The one who is taught the word is to share all good things with the one who teaches him. The book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 21. Present your case, the Lord says. Bring forward your strong arguments, the king of Jacob says. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 9. Make every effort to come to me soon. The book of John, chapter 5, verse 41. I do not receive glory from men. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 20. For what credit is there if when you sin and are harshly treated that you endure it with patience? But if when you do what is right and suffer for it, you patiently endure it, this finds favor with God. 
the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 26. Watch the path of your feet, and all your ways will be established. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 18. You shall do what is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with you, and that you may go in and possess the good land which the Lord swore to give your fathers. The book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 10. So then, while we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, and especially to those who are of the household of the faith. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 12, verse 8. You shall not do at all what we are doing here today, every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. The book of Psalm, chapter 47, verse 7. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a skillful song. The book of Psalm, chapter 118, verse 23. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. The book of Philippines, chapter 4, verse 9. The things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 4. So that your giving will be in secret and your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 23. Buy truth and do not sell it. Get wisdom and instructions and and understanding. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 12. Looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning and the elements will melt with intense heat. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 21. Equip you in every good thing to do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom... Be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The book of Philippines, chapter 2, verse 16. Hold it fast, the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I will have reason to glory, because I did not run in vain, nor toil in vain. The book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 24. Strive to enter through the narrow door, for many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own sight, but the Lord weighs the motives. So as you can see there, throughout the Old and New Testament, you see the importance of doing everything with your might, doing everything for God, and putting your best foot forward and using all your effort, all your strength, all your determination, because that's what gives us the ability, that's what keeps us rewarded, that's what gives us long life, you know. When we do right by ourselves and do right by God and do right by others, you can never go wrong in that path, you know. So it's very important that, you know, we, we do the right thing, man. We always do God's will. We do God's work. You know, we always just do our best, man. Because this is not a time to settle. This is not a time to backslide. This is not a time to take steps backwards. This is a time to just keep moving forward. Keep building, keep getting stronger, keep creating, keep producing for God, you know, because that's where we're at right now in this times that we're in. So I pray to God that whoever says message, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life forward for the Lord. I pray that you get new beginnings. I pray that you put your best foot forward from now on. All those ideas that you got, manifest them and make it come into fruition. Make sure that it's centered around God's will and make sure that what you want out of life makes you a better person as well. And you can also help others along the way. So don't forget to always give your effort and always go all out, all right? I'm Jarvis King, so I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.
Thank <laughs> you. 